Last week while stuck in traffic on Woodhaven Boulevard, I couldn't help but notice the advertisement on the back of this bus. This is a pretty cool example of blending modes, and I've seen this poster before. In fact, it's in subway stations all over the place. So today, we're going to be reimagining this poster to promote the Academy of Urban Planning. We're going to be following this criteria, making sure that we use the screen blending mode, and reducing opacity to 60% on two particular photos. So, how do we start? The first thing that we're going to need to do is notice that the original image is untouched beyond maybe a little bit of color correction using curves. Uh, we can also see that there have been blending of modes, two different colors applied to the two images flanked on the left and the right. So let's get started. First thing that we're going to need to do is open up Dropbox. We're going to download the PSD extractions that we did last week. We're going to then open up in Photoshop. We're going to open up the blank and we're going to select the move tool. Let's make sure the auto select layer is checked and we're going to start dragging in these extractions. Once you drag them in, I'm going to recommend that you minimize it so you don't get confused and you should have a total of five for one in the center and two on the right, two on the left. We're going to want to make sure that all of the extractions are similar in size. I can see that this particular image uh, was not originally downloaded as a high resolution file so we can resolve this pretty quickly. I'm going to go to image adjustments and curves to do a little color correction and great tremendous. So now what we need to do is put them in an order such that the two on the right are looking towards the right and the two on the left are looking towards the left. Uh, these are going to be overlapped so the one in the center is on top and let's experiment a little bit right here. We're just about done. And let's try 88%. That looks good. Okay, so once they're overlapped appropriately, sequenced like this, making sure that we leave space for the slogan at the top, the logo on the right hand side, and some text in the lower right hand corner, we're going to start desaturating. So I'm going to use the move tool. I'm going to start from the left and press Control shift u and mark work my way down uh, this particular row. Great. Next up is I'm going to click on the outer photos and I'm going to press 6 and I know that when we do that it reduces opacity to 60% that looks good and now we need to start adding some color so I'm going to not click on layer 5 because I know that layer 5 is the photo in the center instead I'm going to click on the side image I'm going to press con actually I'm going to hold control and when I do I'm going to click on this icon in the layers palette and when I do I can see that a selection is covering the perimeter of this particular layer. I'm going to then select the paint bucket and create a new layer right above it and click. Bam! I'm going to press Control D to deselect and I'm going to change this blending mode from normal to screen. Tremendous. I'm going to now click on the far left one. Oops! Using, Make sure we're using the move tool. I'm going to click on the far left. I'm going to yet again hold Control, click on the layer the icon, I'm going to use the paint bucket, make sure that we create a new layer, control D to deselect, we're going to change this layer from normal to the screen blending mode. And when we can see that when we zoom in, there's a gradual reduction in opacity and that's a pretty cool effect. We're going to apply this on both sides, in fact we can do it really quickly by changing the foreground color to red. I'm going to select this particular layer, I'm going to hold control clicking on the icon, I can see there's a selection around the perimeter. I'm going to create a new layer, I'm going to use the paint bucket, control D to deselect, I'm going to change the blending mode from normal to screen and we're going to do that one final time. So now I'm just about done with this poster. I've added the slogan, the logo, some text in the lower right hand corner, but I'm going to make one more slight modification. When I look at these images, especially this one in the center, uh, it seems like there's uh, it's a little bit heavy on the shadows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide layer 8, this particular red layer right here. I'm going to click on layer 1 and I can see that I'm selecting it right now. And what I'm going to do is press Control L and I'm going to adjust levels and I'm going to add a few more highlights so it looks a little bit like that. So now when I add the color, it looks a little bit more professional. Similarly, I'm going to go up here, I'm going to apply the same technique uh, to this particular layer. 
I'm going to press Control L, and I know I'm on the right layer, I'm on the desaturated layer, and I'm going to add a few more highlights to add greater contrast. There we go. That looks that looks pretty good. So I'm going to zoom out. And yeah, that looks like an A-plus project right there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, good luck.